For today's project, we are going to create a Nanolift LED panels. We all know that Nanolift LED panels are kind expensive, but you can create today's project at a very cheap price. What are you waiting for? Let's get right into it. Let's start with the things that you will need. A 12 volt power supply, a perf board, an ESP8266 Wemos D1, 3 meters of WS2811 LED strips, enough to create 8 panels, a mini 360 DC to DC back converter, a female socket connector, 9 pieces of male 3-pin JSD connector, 8 pieces of female 3-pin JSD connector, solid wire, no more nails adhesive, and 3D printer to print the panels. The first thing that we need to do is to print this beautiful 3D model of Danalif from our generous friend on Thingiverse. I printed the base in the black PLA and for the cover, I printed it in white PLA to act as a diffuser. After completing that step, it's time to place the LED strip inside the bases. We need approximately 35cm in length to wrap around the interior of one base. After placing the LED strip inside the bases, it's time to solder the male and female wire connectors onto the LED strip. Pay attention to attaching the male connector to the incoming side of the LED, as indicated by a small arrow printed along the strip and connect the JST female connector to the outgoing side of the LED. Be sure not to reverse this connection as doing so could damage the LED or other electronics components. In my case, I've connected the red wire to the positive 12 volts and the yellow wire to the DIN connection the black wire to the ground. Repeat this process for the remaining bases. Now, it's time to set up the brain and the electronics. The first thing that we need to do is to set up the ESP8266. To do this, simply connect it to your computer using a USB cable and navigate to the web address install.wled.me using your web browser. Click the install button, then choose your board. In my case, it is COM13. After that, click connect. Once connected, click install WLED and proceed with the installation. Let it complete its process. Once the installation is done, click next and connect it to your Wi-Fi network. Once the device is connected to your network, you can click visit device to access your GUI and find the IP address of your device. Now, it's time to place the electronics on the perf board. We'll start with the ESP8266, followed by the female socket connector, and lastly, the mini 360 DC to DC buck converter. Using a solid wire, we will use it as a pathway for our connections. For now, we will only attach a solid wire to the positive and negative connections of the socket connector leading to the Mini 360 buck converter. We need to adjust the output of the buck converter to just slightly above 5 volts before connecting it to the ESP8266. To do this, we need to use a multimeter and attach the alligator clip to the output of the Mini 360 buck converter. Now, it's time to turn the potentiometer with a small screwdriver until the reading is just a slight above 5 volts. Next, it's time to connect the output of the buck converter to the ESP8266. Additionally, I use a male 3-pin JST connector from the ESP8266 to connect to the LED panels. The black wire is connected to the ground, and the yellow wire is connected to the GPIO 12 of the ESP8266. Here's the picture of the connections of the electronics. Once it's done, I place the perf board inside the 3D printed case. Next, it's time to hang these LED panels on the wall. The first thing I did was to use my meter to find the center of the wall and then mark it with a pencil. After that, I put on gloves because I'm going to use a no more nails adhesive. Once this adhesive gets on your hands, it's somewhat difficult to remove. So I recommend wearing gloves when using it. Using the no more nails adhesive, I glued the panels and the case of the electronics one by one to the wall. After completing that, I connected each end of the LED strip and then I closed the base with its cover. This time, we need to power it up with a 12 volt power supply. Now, we need to download the WLED app on your phone and open it. Click this plus button and then click discover lights. Once your LED is already found, click the check button. Click this and press configuration and click the LED 
preferences. The LED counts should be the number of bays that you have, times by 7. In my case, it is 56. Set the maximum current to 3000 milliamps. And then, under the hardware setup, change the color order of the LED to BRG and change the GPIO to 12. We can now save our settings by clicking this button. We can then verify that all our settings are correct by heading back to the main page and cycling through those three primary colors, red, blue, and green. There are a lot of great guides on how to use WLED, so I will not go into a lot of details in this tutorial. However, I won't leave you without a quick crash course in the basics. On the main screen, you'll find a brightness slider located at the top right of the screen. This serves as the master brightness control and can be accessed from any tab. There are four main pages that can be accessed from the four main tabs at the bottom of the screen. Colors, Effects, segments, and presets. However, I will only discuss the colors and effects tabs. In colors tab, you can basically change the color of your nano leaf in this tab. In effects tab, here from the name of the tab itself, this allows you to switch between various dynamic and static animations for the nano leaf panels. As you can see, there are a lot of effects that you can choose from. And there you have it! The project is completed! It's time to sit back and enjoy the fruit of your labor. And as always, keep learning and have fun. Bye!